good to see you. It's kind of awkward to see you. I know. Okay. The movie, of course, you know, it's Teen Wolf, so there's got to be some relationship drama. Shelly, were you surprised at all when you learned that Scott and Malia were no longer together? Um, They're not? I was not surprised. I think I would have been more surprised if they were together, you know? I think I think they were really cute and fun and sweet, and I think they complimented each other really well. But uh, I think, you know, Scott always, he's a, he's, a, he's a hopeless romantic, and he couldn't fully move on to somebody else. And I'm sure that kind of got in the way of he and Malia's relationship. And so I think I would have been more surprised if they had stayed together. I'm not worried about the past. Because now I have a future. What I was more surprised about is who they put her with. <laughs> and possibly because in real life, he's like my fucking brother, you know? So that we had to definitely bring our professional selves to Ryan and I to um, be able to complete that scene, but he was amazing. You're naked. You're not. Well. We love each other, so it was, it Ryan was great. Ryan Kelly but... is one of the most chill people you'll ever meet. Yeah, he's... He's down for whatever, anytime. Yeah. Yeah. What happened was we had asked Jeff, I, I guess Ryan and myself separately, Jeff was like, what are the things, like, give me three things you want to make sure your character does or something for you for this movie, which was so thoughtful. And I, I like, listed a couple things, and then I was like, I want her to be naked. Because for me, that gets me, like, back in the gym. It gets me to eat right and put the flaming Hot Cheetos away. And I, I guess Ryan, yeah. And I guess Ryan had said the same thing. So Jeff's thinking, oh, I'll put elimination. them together. But <laughs> I didn't say I wanted a love interest. I didn't say I wanted to have sex on camera. I didn't say I wanted to like be naked with someone else. I just wanted to be naked alone in the woods. Ryan's first text to me was, no, when he saw in the script that we have to make out. That's I was like, I hate you. I asked Jeff, you know, what drew Malia to Did to he tell you the truth? Case? He was literally like his body. Yeah, his body. Yeah. And then Ryan was showing ass and they weren't showing mine. So I was like, excuse me, Russell, uh, why are you showing my ass? Uh, he gets to show his, I get to show mine. And he was like, oh, you want to show? And I was like, yes. So there we go. Give him a taste, Lydia. Tell us why you left Styles. Give us your pain or the next time I shoot Jackson in the head. Holland, obviously, you know, Dylan O'Brien was not back for this one, but I feel like we certainly got a lot of information about his relationship with Lydia. Do you feel like the movie did a good job of sort of honoring what Styles and Lydia had, even though we, we couldn't see him? I felt really possessive of that scene. I left because of a dream. He wasn't breathing. Lydia, it was just a dream. Until it happened again. I thought it was really important for what, for how much fans loved uh, Lydia and Styles, it becomes this recurring dream until I can't tell anymore that if it's a dream or a premonition. So I thought it was absolutely necessary, um, as did Jeff, of course, to 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 bring that into the storyline. If I was never in the car with him, there wouldn't have to be a crash. He wouldn't have to die. You would feel a hole in Lydia if you didn't address it yeah. um, in the movie. So I'm I'm really happy with... It made sense to me um, of why she did have to walk away um, and the gravity that of what that meant for their relationship. And, and so, yeah, I, I like that they, they put that in there.